PyGubu Designer allows you to visually create the graphical part of your TKinter applications. It has the ability to show custom TTK styles. In this video, I'll show you how to preview your TTK style changes in real time with PyGubu Designer. This means that you won't need to restart your Python app each time that you make a style change. Join me as we continue to explore PyGubu Designer, a graphical user interface tool for TKinter. Hi, my name is Jobin, and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi, and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use TTK styles in PyGubu Designer. So here's an example. I have a TTK label here that says, what is your favorite programming language? This is a TTK entry widget and a TTK button. So all three of these widgets are TTK widgets. So to change the style of these widgets, I'm going to start with the label. I'm going to go to edit, then preferences, then I'm going to click on TTK styles. From here it says style definition file. So we don't have one already made. So here I'm going to click on create new. And I'm just going to name the file style underscore test. And the extension will be .py. So this is essentially going to be a Python file. So I'm just going to click on save and then it says file saved. Please edit the style definition file. I'm going to click on OK. So now it has a path to that file that I just created. It doesn't actually matter where the style definition file gets saved as long as you can find it yourself later with your file manager. But it doesn't have to be in the same folder as your main Python program. It could be in a completely different folder. So I'm going to open that Python file using any editor, any text editor. Okay, so I have that file open with a simple text editor now. And again, this is essentially a Python script. And we have some example code down here. And right now we have access to the style object. So that means in this style definition file, we can use the style object to make changes to widgets in our program. Now the interesting part is, any changes that we make to this will automatically reflect in PyGubu Designer. This file is actively being monitored by PyGubu Designer. I'll show you an example. So in this example code. I'm just going to remove this part. So now we have style.configure. Then I'm going to specify my own style for, for labels. So I'm going to say my custom label dot t label. And for my custom label, I want to set the background color to green. Okay, and I'm just going to save this file. So it's saved. And before I do anything else, I'm going to set this window to be always on top. Okay, so this window is always on top now. And I'm going to close the PyGubu preferences window. So we have the text editor open here and PyGubu designer in the back here. Okay, so when I click on the label that says, what is your favorite programming language? I get a bunch of options here on the right hand side. One of the options is called style. If I click on the drop down menu in the style combo box, I can see my custom label TTK style that I defined in this text editor. 
So I'm going to go ahead and select that style and watch what happens to this label as soon as I select this. So you can see it changed the background to green, just like we specified in the text editor. And the interesting part is we didn't have to close PyGooboo Designer at all. And we didn't have to reopen our project, our UI project, like graphical user interface project. We can actually take this even further. So right now in this text editor, it's saying that my custom label should change the background of, of a label to green. I'm going to change green to blue. Then I'm going to click save in the text editor. But as soon as I click on save, watch what happens to that label in PyGooboo Designer. I'm going to click on save on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, so about a second later, it changed the background to blue. And again, I didn't have to reload my PyGooboo project and I didn't have to restart PyGooboo Designer. So this is very useful because we can make changes to our style and see the changes here in PyGooboo Designer almost immediately as soon as we click on save in our text editor. So we can actually define new styles as well and the changes will automatically take effect in PyGooboo Designer. Let me show you some more examples. So right now we have my custom label, which we can see in this drop down menu. Let's add another one, another style. So I'm going to type style.configure and I'm going to call this one second style dot t label. This is going to be for another for, for a TTK label again. And this one, I'm going to change the background to yellow and change the foreground to blue. Okay, so I'm going to click save here. And now when I click on the style drop down, I have two styles. And I'm going to select the second style and we can see the changes take effect. So this is a great way of designing your user interfaces and defining custom styles because in the past you would have to define a TTK style in your Python IDE or whichever program that you use to, to write your Python scripts. And typically as you make changes to a style, you would have to start your Python script, see what it looks like, and then close down your program, make changes to the, to the style, and then reopen your program to see if the style looks good. And then you just repeat the process over and over again until you're happy with a style. This will make it considerably easier because you don't have to keep restarting your program and the changes are happening here live. So this is all for a, a TTK label. Uh, we can do the same thing for that button there. So here I'm going to write style.configure my cool button dot T button. And I'm going to set the background to red and I'm going to set the foreground to white. And I'm going to click on save. And as soon as I click on save, now when I click on style and remember, I have the submit button highlighted now, I can see my cool button dot T button. And as soon as I click on it, I can see that style. So in that drop down, we also see tool button, which is one that I did not define. And this is one that just happens to come with PyGooboo Designer. So this is actually one that, that is already there. And, it, and, and as I define my own styles, they get added to this combo box here. And the examples that I'm using here in this text editor are very simple examples. I'm just using style.configure and I'm changing the background and the foreground. And as you probably know, TTK styles can get very complex and you can use all that complexity within this text file as well. 
and the changes will take effect in PyGuru Designer. So you can also use style.map and, and all the other um, methods that a style would have or a style object would have. Um, I'm just using some very basic examples here. So let's say that you're happy with this design and you want to incorporate this style definition into your final project. How do you do that? Well, you would save your style definition file where it is. Then when you're ready to actually use this style in your final project, in PyGubu Designer, uh, actually I'm just gonna minimize this text editor. In PyGubu Designer, you would go to code and the section where you can generate code, like, like you know, when you click on the generate button, on the left hand side, there's a checkbox that says use TTK style definitions file. When you check that, and when you click on generate, you can see that there is a setup TTK style section here. And if I scroll, this is the code, the section here that we put in the style definition file. So this means that it doesn't matter where that style definition file gets saved it's gonna get included in its own method here anyway, when you generate the code with the generate button. And there's a bunch of comments here at the top, which, uh, which is useful, it just explains you know, how it works. Um, but once, once you learn how it works, you don't actually need those comments in, in there anymore. So if I go back into the text editor, I'm just gonna remove all that extra information there that we don't need in our final project. So now we just have three lines of code here for our st style definition. And I'm just gonna click on save again and minimize the text editor. And I'm gonna click on generate again. And now we just get our three lines of code and a couple of other lines of code that PyGubu Designer generated on its own. So there's a couple of things I should point out. When you go to edit and then preferences, in the TTK styles tab, there is a spot for only one style definition file. So that means if you open another project in PyGubu Designer that uses a completely different TTK style design, you would have to manually go into preferences and browse for the other style definition file if it's different, if the styles are different from your current PyGubu designer project. So that's, that's, one, that's one thing I was gonna mention. The second thing that's worth noting is I'm going to reopen that style definition file. Notice here that we're always deriving from the main class. So we're saying my custom label dot t label second style dot t label my cool button dot t button so we're not just changing t label we're not just changing t button and the reason why it's a good idea to specify your own custom name for the style uh, especially if you use pygubu designer is the following well first of all let's use uh, t button as an example if I don't put my cool button or whatever custom name here before the class name, so if I just put T button and make the background red and foreground white, what's gonna happen here is, first of all, all my TTK buttons in my project will, have a, will end up having a background of red and a foreground of white, which very well might be what you're looking for, but it's going to do something kind of strange with PyGubu Designer, um, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna save this. So this style is gonna to apply to T button, so any TTK button, and there's no custom name. So we can see here in the dropdown, it says T button. I'm gonna minimize the text editor. But watch what happens. When I go to Edit and Preferences, Look what it did to the buttons in PyGubu Designer. And the reason why it did that is because PyGubu Designer itself uses 
that same TTK instance for generating this, this preview here. So when you specify just T button, um, it's also going to affect the widgets in PyGooboo Designer itself. It won't really hurt anything. Um, like the application itself will still function. Um, it'll just kind of look weird. So the recommended way of defining your own styles is to derive. So in other words, um, you know, it's recommended to not just put T button or, or not just use T label, but it's, it's good practice to come up with your own name before the class name. So like test dot T button or my cool button. But you know, if you wanted to come up with a, a more realistic name, you would use something like standard, you know, something that's meaningful to your application. And finally, if you don't want to use TTK styles, or if you change your mind, you can always go back into edit preferences and you can, cr you can click on the remove button here to remove that style definition file from your project. It won't delete the file. It just removes it from PyGooboo Designer. Or if you wanted to change the style, you would click on browse and then look for a new TTK style definition file. Creating a design and trying to perfect it usually takes time and experimentation. We saw how PyGooboo Designer can preview style changes quickly without the need to restart your Python app and without the need to reopen your project. Until the next tutorial, thanks for watching.